Berry and Bradford went into their third round clash at Kig Lane with only one position separating them in League One. Over 3,000 Bantams fans made the trip across the Pennines, hoping to see a repeat of last season's Cup heroics. And the majority of them were on their feet after half an hour, as Tony McMahon almost gave them the lead with a super free kick. Billy Clark unable to convert on the rebound. Berry lost winger Craig Jones to injury in the first half and struggled to find their rhythm, but they were presented with a golden opportunity to take the lead from Andy Little's misplaced pass. Andrew Tutt perhaps had too much time. Soon after the restart, it was Bradford's turn to waste a glorious opening. Kyle Reed's cross found Little all alone in the box, but the midfielder could only head wide. There was no lack of endeavour on the pitch in what Berry boss David Flickcroft called an entertaining encounter. He'd have been a lot happier had last season's Player of the Year Danny Mayer found a finishing touch to Leon Clark's cross there. The opportunities kept on coming and right at the end Bradford came closest to nicking it. McMahon's shot from the edge of the area almost turned into the perfect cross for James Hansen. But he couldn't convert as last season's quarter-finalists were left frustrated. It'll be a replay at Valley Parade to settle this time.